Hi, today we will discuss about a very important topic which is GI bleeding. Upper GI bleeding is defined as bleeding within the intraluminal gastrointestinal tract from any location between the upper esophagus to the duodenum at the ligament of triads. In this diagram show location of upper GI bleeding and lower GIT bleeding above ligament triads, upper GI bleeding and lower below. You see the clear view of ligament triads. Causes of upper GI bleeding. Visceral causes and non-visceral. Visceral, it is due to liver cirrhosis, which is portal hypertension. And non-visceral include POD, malary vestir, esophagitis, gastritis, and tumor of esophagus and stomach. The next is causes of upper GI bleeding. The most common cause of upper GI bleeding is peptic ulcer disease. You see in a picture the stomach ulcer and duodenal ulcer. Second one is malary vestir. It results from prolonged and forceful vomiting, coughing or convulsion. Third one is esophageal varices. You see in a picture esophageal varices. It is due to complications of cirrhosis, which is portal hypertension. The fourth one is gastritis. It is inflammation of the stomach lining. Right? Fifth one is esophagitis. Esophagitis is defined as it is inflammation of esophagus lining. The sixth one is tumor in esophagus and tumor in the stomach. Then we will talk about the clinical presentation. The clinical presentation include hematomesis, which is fresh blood in vomiting, melena, which is black stool, and fatigue. Right? Then anemic like symptoms, which is weakness, fatigue, also yellowish in skin, and syncope, which is sudden pain. Diagnosis. In diagnosis, first use endoscopy to find out the cause of bleeding. Understand. Ultrasound abdomen. In ultrasound abdomen, give us information about liver condition like grades of liver cirrhosis. In initial management, first secure your way. If SpO2 less than 90% after maximum FiO2 by mass, then move towards rapid sequence intubation. Then stable the patient hemodynamically, pass the patient to double IV line and to draw the sample for uh, to sending the labs for CBC, LFTs, RFTs and for coagulations and uh, for also send the blood sample for grouping blood grouping and cross matching infuse synthetic collides are colloidal and proceed with volume replacement until the blood arrives when blood arranged transfuse blood and Platelets transfusion when platelets count less than 50,000 then transfuse platelets FFP indication if fibrinogen level less than 1 and INR greater than 1 norm then give a transfusion of FFP. Pass Foley's catheter and uh, the next one is pharmacological treatment which is give PPI, omeprazole, initial infuse, 8 mg bolus followed by 8 mg per hour continue infusion. Advantages of PPI intravenous PPI before endoscopy result in a decreased number of ulcer with lesion that require endoscopic therapy. Octreotide, which is somatostatin analogous, will give 100 microgram bolus. Then continue infusion of octreotide 5 to 100 microgram per hour. That will reduce blood flow in portal blood pressure and effect in initial control of bleeding related to portal hypertension. Endoscopic treatment for visceral bleeding first line treatment is band ligation. In the given picture show band ligation. Sclerotherapy injection of sclerosine inject into esophageal varices through endoscopic that promote thrombosis and lead to sclerosis. 
then balloon tamponade balloon tamponade should be considered as a temporary salvage treatment for uncontrolled visceral hemorrhage non visceral bleeding management 90% ulcer bleeding angiomas mallory west here by injection of epinephrine and by direct catheterization thanks for watching if you like my videos please like and subscribe